So as we're preparing to um, uh, take the collection, uh, there's various ways you can give. As you know, you can put it in the buckets now. There's an FPOS machine at the greeting table. We may do as I like to do. I just work out, you know, once a month, I work out my uh, income and expenses and I, I, I give an accurate uh, amount to God. I'd be afraid not to, not because I'm afraid of the punishment of God, which I'm not, but I'm afraid of losing the blessing of God. God blesses you as you give. Proverbs 3, 5 to 10 says this, Trust in the Lord completely and don't depend on your own knowledge. With every step you take, think about what He wants and He will help you to get to the right way. In all your ways, acknowledge it. He will direct your paths. Don't trust in your own wisdom, but fear and respect the Lord and stay away from evil. If you would do this, it would be like a refreshing drink, like medicine for your body. Medicine for your body. Healing again, when we trust the Lord, healing for our body. Honor the Lord with your wealth and the first part of your harvest. That's what we're doing today. And your barns will be full of grain and your barrels will be overflowing with wine. Your kitchen and your fridge will be full of good food and your bank account will have more than you need, enough to give to others. That's what it means. My son. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Wow. So we'll stop there. As we give to God, He blesses us. We can't outgive God. We can never outgive God. Um, have the ushers taken the collection already? Okay, here you begin. Go ahead. I'll, I'll, I'll pray as when you finish, please uh, bring the buckets forward so we can pray over them too. As pe people are giving today, Lord, I pray for a complete blessing upon them. Some of them are aching today, not knowing where the money's coming for the rent, feeling unable to go out and have a nice meal, make car payments, buy a house, finance their wedding, all these other things. But we know today when we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, all these things will be added unto us. So we take no thought for our life, what we will wear, what we will put on. Because our Heavenly Father knows our need before we ask. And He's promised to supply. He's promised su supplies and surprise. Surprise us, Lord. Surprise everyone this coming week. In your goodness, as they've given to you today. Father God, we're not orphans, we're children. We're accepted in the beloved. We thank you, Lord. We pray with this offering today. May you use it for your glory, Lord, to extend your kingdom. May you build this house, Lord God, this house of God. We're studying about, Lord Jesus, and expand our influence in society. In Jesus' name we pray. The gospel will go forth from New Hope Church, Brisbane, to all the state of Queensland, even overseas, Lord God, because of the faithfulness of your children. They are partaking, they are partaking in the, in the work of God, in the expansion of the kingdom of God. We give you all the praise and glory. God bless you for giving today. The Lord is your Father. He loves you. He sees your need. Don't worry about a thing. Just trust Him. He'll bring everything to pass in His.